Looking pretty good for all the little ghosts and goblins out here tonight. Live Doppler radar, not putting any scare into us, that's for sure. We're seeing the roads refreeze. We had the rain in the middle portion of the day and everything's freezing solid. We've had several reports of wrecks around the neighborhood, including one on the interstate, so please take it easy out there. This is what people from Michigan do on spring break. They come to West Virginia for the warmth. That's out of, just out of bounds, right off the hook. That's the one I'm looking for right there. I'm so hip. Man, I got all my lingo down, don't I? 80 in uh, Charleston, They're, they just said, I'm far out. Uh, folks, if you ever wondered, if you ever wondered why we say, you know, get out of a trailer and head for a low spot, these are the pictures. You're looking at them right now, and you can see how trailers are tossed about like rag dolls. This is up to about 48.2 feet, rising very slowly, two tenths of an inch per hour. That's a very small amount, but it's going to come up here about another foot or so, and that'll put it up here to about maybe that second or third step. It's been a long time since we've had something on the order of this type of snowstorm, what will I'm sure become uh, the President's Day weekend storm. All right, hi everybody, welcome back to Laidley Field. You've heard of Where's Waldo, now we're gonna play the game Spot Spencer because, <laughs> oh, I think you found me, okay. Welcome back, Spencer Atkins on the green carpet here, and here is Matthew McConaughey. Welcome back to Huntington, Matthew. It's good to, it's good to have you here. And again, the potential, there is the potential that there is a tornado in here. And so that's why we want everyone in this area to get indoors, stay indoors. It's a potentially dangerous situation. The lightning itself is also very dangerous. So we want to get inside, stay off the phone, stay away from the major appliances. Again, to review a tornado warning out for Wayne County until 830. Reviewing our safety tips. We want to get inside to the basement or the lowest level away from any windows. Sometimes that's a bathroom or sometimes that's a closet. And then especially the Dunlow area is what I'm concerned about and headed up toward Cove Gap and eventually out toward East Lynn. And again, you see, we see cars there in the background. I wanna just urge you personally, if you don't need to be out there, don't go out there because you're just gonna be in the way of the emergency crews and they need to move and, and they need to get in there and find out. And let's pray that nobody is inside one of these buildings or the remnants of one of these buildings. And that's what they're up against and they're running against the clock right now like mad. And now, Storm Tracker 13, the area's most accurate forecast. Well, a toasty day at Snowshoe, and there's the Thanksgiving turkey. If you were wondering where he is, he's up there trying to get ready to go skiing today. Yes, they were skiing, and you know what? Despite the fact it was warm, look at that. They've been making snow up there. So, little turkey, I think we need to thaw him out if you're going to have plans to cook them for tomorrow. Okay, live Doppler radar network right now showing us rain across southern Ohio from Portsmouth rolling toward Athens, mainly staying on the Ohio side of the river. A couple of sprinkles breaking out, it looks like, trying to between Pikeville and Hamlin. But this rain activity will pick up later tonight. Quick reminder, lots of shoppers are going to go out, not tomorrow, but the day after. And now we are down to 17 days left on the Marine Corps Toys for Tots. We've had some generous donations. People came in and brought some really big stuff, which is great. Uh, we just need to see some other types of gifts, a little smaller stuff. And boy, that would really make a difference for a lot of children around here. Travel. Now, here are those delays I was talking about in minutes. Well, look at the Northeast, over 100 minutes in New York. Oof, that's something. Philadelphia, 30. But look at this. It comes down to lots of zeros in the South, which is great. Lots of flights in and out of Charlotte that come into our neighborhood. Right now, no delays. Atlanta, 30 minute delay. That's not bad. You can live with that. It was a ground stop in Chicago, but now they're down to about 34 minutes. All the other surrounding airports are looking good, not west. We did have a 30 minute delay at, at uh, Dallas Fort Worth. That's cleared off. So there's hope here that if anyone's coming, in or if you knew someone that was going out that it's all kind of getting caught up minus the New York area. Still 70 in Charleston, 71 in Huntington, 68 in Parkersburg right now, but it will cool down thanks to the showers. And there is some snow activity back here again that stretches from Iowa on up and through the Great Lakes. So there are three distinct lines of precip here. There's the light one that's coming in. Here's the second one right along the front through Illinois. Then the cold air wraps back around behind this. Now up close, let's see what happens with our predictor now. I and mean, it shows us the showers really kind of picking up again, rolling up through the Ohio Valley between now at 11 o'clock and a little sprinkle here there just about anywhere overnight but about six in the morning here comes the front itself with showers but interestingly enough it's clearing it off minus some what we call upslope mountain 
snow showers a little bit later on in the afternoon. So a lot of clouds hanging in here. 54 degrees. We'll see the rain late again and the falling temperature. So that's your 54 degree reading in the morning for the deer hunters. Now it'll just continue to drop throughout the day. And Bucky says he won't even be there, guys. He's going to be inside watching football. So I, that's what he's saying. A 15 to 20 mile an hour wind. That's breezy. It'll pick up in the afternoon. Sunrise at 715. Hometown of the day is Dunbar, West Virginia, where they will play the Commode Bowl tomorrow. You know, rain or shine, they're going to play that game. It'll be wet in the morning, muddy field in the afternoon, breezy and falling temps into the 40s. Speaking of football, a little bit more legitimately speaking here, UConn at WVU, Saturday 44 at kickoff, second half 40, dry but cold. Same thing at Marshall, hosting UAB, 430 kickoff, 45 at game time, 40 in the second half. And again, looking at 40 degrees on Friday, that's a chilly one after maybe an early mountain snowflake. Saturday 45 in the afternoon after a 25 degree start. Sunday will keep it dry for now at 53, warmer but wet on Monday and we'll cool off just a little bit with the cold front coming through the middle of next week, guys. So all kinds of temperature changes. Just get ready for a wet one and cooler day tomorrow. You get to have this game up here at Laidley. I guess you guys do this, what, every year? Well, we didn't get to cheer last year because we had our regional competition the oh, same and day. That's another thing, too. You're competing tomorrow. Uh, you guys were going over some of the rules. You're not even allowed to, like, do what tonight? We're not allowed to do kicks or anything. We just have to cheer. Okay. <laughs> so... Because they have a big competition tomorrow and they don't want to risk any injuries, so um, I guess like what do you get to do, stand there and go, yay, is that about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing a little sliver of the moon behind the clouds right there, and yeah, it's a little eerie looking there, isn't it? But the clouds are a signal of what you're going to see on the live Doppler in just a moment. Hi everybody, welcome back once again. We're out here hanging out with the pioneers and the crowd is already beginning to fill in a good hour here before the game. They've actually been in here for, oh boy, quite a long time now. Got the stadium blankets going, so we got the chili cooking over at the concession stand. This is going to be a fun night here, playoff football. I reckon it's a little busy right now. As you can see, we have some people that have been checking their deer in over there. Those guys got a five point on the back of that truck over there, so that was a pretty good shot cloudy and a little slightly chilly and, and well there you go so what else do I need to do you guys go ahead I'm leaving right now okay no I better do a little bit of weather how about that so how about you guys you fired up I'm fired up he, I can't he, wait he's fired up he can't wait I mean he's you're bubbling with excitement aren't you oh yeah <laughs> say hello everybody hey. okay tell us who you are I'm Chelsea Chelsea Rachel Rachel Katie, Katie. <laughs> Emily Brittany Brenna and they're all the Brady Bunch that's it <laughs> That's the flood wall, and they put up the gate last time in 1997, I believe it was. I recall that it doesn't happen a whole lot, and it has to get up to about 53 or 54 feet. Not looking for that to happen this time.